Hello, Alicia McFarlane with your news briefing. No word yet on the safety of two miners currently missing in an underground Queensland mine following an incident earlier today. There are reports the two workers fell down a hole where ore is extracted from, but there has been no structural collapse. Dugald River mine owner MMG says the site's emergency response has been activated with a search and rescue operation underway. The Reserve Bank Governor has defended the central bank's decision to increase rates nine times in the past year. Philip Lowe is being grilled at a Senate hearing in Canberra. He's told the panel the board is focused on tackling inflation. Inflation at the moment, 7.8%, is way too high. It needs to come down. Four lives have been lost, including a child, in the wake of ex-tropical cyclone Gabriel, which has left a path of destruction across New Zealand. Some communities remain cut off due to flooding, while thousands have been evacuated. More funds are going into Australia's response to the devastating earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. PM Anthony Albanese announcing another $8 million, bringing the total to $18 million. I often say at the worst of time you see the best of the Australian character. And in this it showed that that character isn't just about helping their fellow Australians but their, their fellow global citizens. One arrest has been made after the discovery of 365 kilos of cocaine in waters of WA. The man was nabbed at a home in Darwin and will front court tomorrow. Police want to speak with two other men. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. In sport, Carlton has signed running defender Alex Sincotta just before this afternoon's rookie deadline. He's been plugged from the Blues VFL program and is seen as a like-for-like -like replacement for the injured Zach Williams. Elsewhere, Toby Green will captain GWS solo this year, while Marcus Bontempelli will continue to lead the dogs. And Mitch Stark says he's a good chance, but no certainty, to return to the Aussie 11 for Friday's second test against India. If he does play, it'll have to be with a protective guard on his finger after injuring it in the Boxing Day test. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. A hot and sunny afternoon across the limestone coast, 17 degrees overnight. Even hotter tomorrow will hit 38 degrees. On more local news, get free breaking news about our community. Download the Listener app, search for your town and add to your favourites now. <laughs>